Shmini means eight, and he's referring to the eighth day of inaugurating the Mishkan, the traveling temple we use in the desert. At first glance, the beginning of our parsha seems to better belong to the end of last week's parsha, which discusses the first seven days of inauguration. Says the Rebbe, by breaking to begin a new parsha, mid-story, the Torah is telling us that while superficially a mere continuation of the days that preceded it, it's actually totally different. Thus, Shemini opens a completely new chapter, a new parsha. You see, seven represents nature. That's why the week is made up of seven days, because Hashem created the world in a set of seven days, and all life cycle events are therefore connected to the number seven. We go around seven times under the chuppah, sheva bracha, kafir bira shiva, etc. By contrast, eight represents above nature, the infinite, which has no meaningful connection to nature anything finite. Seven and eight are fundamentally incompatible, which is why Shemini begins a new parsha, because godly and worldly cannot mix, or at least they can't be mixed by us alone. Of course, Hashem can mix them or command us to, and that's exactly what a mitzvah is. Hashem gave us 613 mitzvahs, or 613 bridges, to be able to connect seven and eight. When we follow Hashem's commandments, we enable a physical object whose very nature conceals godliness to now become an expression of God's will. We are fusing together seven and eight in the most beautiful paradox of matter and spirit. This is also what's so special about the eighth day of Pesach, which represents the time when the entire world will be infused with godliness, when even swords will turn into plowshares and all negative will be used for positive. May the time of Gula come very soon for the entire world and for each individual in the best of health, filled with happiness, nachas, prosperity, and an abundance of all good things.